This is the Turbo Light Cabin 380 tent from Black Wolf. It's a quick beach tent with two independent rooms and a big awning. I'm gonna show you how I set it up and how to pack it away. Let's get started. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Summers here today at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park in Adelaide's eastern suburbs. It's a really quiet little getaway for Adelaideans, not far from the city, or a great stopover for those traveling through the city, somewhere to park your van, set up your tent, and explore the area. I've got some space here today to show you some products, and this is the Turbo 380 Lite Cabin. This is a little bit different than the turbos we've known from the past in that it's got much more headspace. It's got two rooms side by side with external doors and a really large awning out the front. Setup is much the same as the other turbos, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today, as well as pack it away. This is how it comes when you buy it. It's about 29 kilos in weight and measures around about 130 centimeters in length by about 45 centimeters by 40 centimeters thereabouts, depending on how tight you roll it up. I'm gonna start by showing you what comes in the bag when you buy your Turbo 380 cabin. So this is the contents of the package when you buy your turbo tent. So on the left of me here is the fly sheet. You get a bag of pegs and all the guy ropes that you need. Most of them are already attached to the tent. There's two pole sections here that form the ridge pole of the awning. That'll make more sense a bit later on. Two short upright poles for the awning. A long upright pole, it's got the two black ferrules on it. That's a long one. This is the main portion of the tent and it all fits inside this bag. So the first thing we need to do is spread the main portion of the tent out here. Now it's getting a bit windy here today, so I'll make sure I keep pegs in the ground. I won't leave the tent unsecured at all because that's where damage can occur. So I'll spread this out first. And there's a few straps in place to keep all this together while it's packed up. It's easy to get in the bag, it's easy to carry around. The first one is a strap that goes around the base of the tent here, and that keeps all the fabric in place. We just undo that one, but it's not attached to the tent. So make sure we put that somewhere we're not gonna lose it. Secondly, this strap up here is actually attached to the tent. So we undo this, and this keeps all these arms secure from falling out while we're carrying it around. We can undo that and just let it go because it's actually sewn to the tent. From here, we can let all the arms drop out. Now, if we can, we'll try and work out where the door is so that we've got the right orientation. It's a bit hard to tell. I'm just gonna let the arms drop down and then we'll spin it around afterwards. So just gently let them fall to the side. So I've just spun this around so my doors are at the front of the tent here. I can tell because I've got the Black Wolf logo here and these zips that come to the base of the doors. There's two doors in the front of this. When you spin it like that, just be careful you're not twisting the, the poles too much. Just ease it around or grab a second set of hands to help you. The next step is to go and put all the pegs in the base. So I've got six pegs to put in, each corner like this, and then we can put the, pole, uh, the frame in place. We might need to find, because there's six pegs, you need to just go back and adjust them to make sure it sits reasonably evenly around the sides here. And when you pull these pegs out, don't make these too tight. Leave a bit of slack in it. It allows the pole to sort of adjust once you pop it into place. While we're on pegs, they're pretty good pegs that come with your turbo tent. They're nice and durable, pretty good for most ground. If you are using on really soft ground like sand, you might want to add a few sand pegs to your kit though. Now next step is for us to start to put the frame into place. We'll pop the frame up now. And there's three steps to popping this frame up into place. First of all, the four end uh, roof poles, not these center ones, but the four end ones need to be extended out like this. There's a little push button up underneath here. We've got to pull this out until that little button locks into place. We do that on four, those four roof poles, and then we go around and we invert this knuckle here until this button pops into place. So we've now got all of our legs strained. We've got these two poles and these two poles extended out. So we're kind of looking a bit like a spider here at the moment. And the next step is to step inside the tent here. We get up underneath the hub in the middle here and we push it up until it pops into place. And that's the inner tent all set up. Now all we need to do is throw the fly over the top and then we can set the awning up. So I've just tried to orient my fly a little bit so I know it's the right way around. Now there's zips and Velcro underneath the awning of the tent. So I know that that bit of fabric there comes out the front and this one to the rear. Now this is probably a whole lot easier with two people. I'll try and throw this over by myself. So I've got the fly over the top now. Awning fabric's hanging down at the front here. Now underneath each of these legs that come down the side, it's not a full fly, it doesn't cover this side of the tent, but this is still waterproof. So this is, runs down the leg of the, of the frame. And up underneath here, there are Velcro tabs that we can put around the frame to hold it all in place. There should be two of these. 
on each leg. This second Velcro tab goes above the knuckle here. Do that one up as well. And then at the very base, there's a side release buckle that actually clips to the frame down here. From there, we go around and we put all of these pegs in around the corner and then we can set the awning up. So I've got the pegs in around the base of the fly now, so that's all secure. So that's the main portion of our tent set up. We still need to set the awning up out the front, so we'll grab our poles and we'll show you how that works. Now there's three awning or upright awning poles. The two with the single black ferrule are the shorter ones for the side. And the one with the two black ferrules is the longer one that goes in the center. So we need to get them in place. And then we assemble this pole here. Now this comes in two parts. It clips together. There's a little push button here and a locate or a locator pin and a hole that that needs to clip into. And then on the other end, there's a collar to allow us to extend it so that we can make sure that the ridge line of the awning, of the, uh, yeah, the awning, sorry, is taut. And then this hook gets situated in the hub at the top of the tent. So we'll just slide it under there and I'll show you where that goes. Now this can be a little bit awkward. We just wanna make sure we don't have this facing up to put a hole in our fly. So make sure it's facing down. We need to get this right up in the hub. The actual hole where it's located isn't in line with this pole. It's just to each side in this, this area here. So if we sort of slide this underneath, if you fish around a little bit, you can find the hole that it sits into and that then locates it in that hub. We can spin this around, extend this out until it's taut and lines up with the eyelet at the end of the awning here. And this is probably the most awkward part of this setup because this ridge pole is quite high with the cabin tents, but we now need to grab our tallest awning pole. We locate it through the, the hole at the end of the ridge pole here, and then pull the eyelet that's along the ridge of the awning here. Underneath here, there's a little brass eyelet and put that over that spigot of the pole there. Stand it upright, and that's the center pole set up. We put the corner poles in, peg our guy ropes out, which are situated in the little pockets here, and our awning set up. That is our Turbo Cabin 380 light all set up, or just about at least. I'm gonna take a shortcut today because I'm only gonna take it down again for you shortly, but we should always put the guy ropes in place. Now, there's two on each corner, two here, two here, and the other side as well, plus an extra one in the center at the back there. So nine extra guy ropes in total that's gonna give your turbo tent tons of stability in all but the worst of weather. Now, there's four windows that we can set up in three different ways. There's long windows on each end here and two slightly narrower windows on the back here, one here and one here, but they can all be set up in the same manner in that they can be zipped close completely like this one here. They all have Velcro tabs on the bottom to secure this. You can roll it open completely as uh, if, if the weather's nice and just roll this right up to the top here. And there are tabs up here that you can use to secure these up and open so you can get tons of ventilation through the tent. Alternatively, down each side, if we undo the, the there's two zippers, if we undo the lower, or do up, sorry, the lower zipper, there's this gusset here that allows us to peg this out with these included guy ropes. These are attached to this one, they come with your kit. We can peg this out like this as a gusseted window to allow ventilation while it's keeping the weather out. So great for really humid nights. That is how you set up the Black Wolf Turbo 380 Light Cabin. Pretty easy, I did it by myself. Much easier with two people. I'm gonna show you how to pack it away now. First thing though, is to take the awning down. So I've got the awning collapsed down. I just gotta take the fly off now. So we'll go around, unclip the pegs, at the, the clips at the bottom. Don't forget our Velcro tabs in underneath here around the frame, two on each leg. Then we can drag the fly off and fold it up. I find it's a good idea to undo these rolls of fabric where you've got doors and windows rolled up before you pack the tent away. It's just gonna make um, the tent folding up flatter and smaller to get it back in the bag far easier. So I've got all the windows closed up, the fly sheet's off. Next step is to step inside and pull the top portion of the tent down so the frame collapses in. Next step is to go around and invert all these knuckles. So the button on the knuckle here, we depress and that allows this to invert. And we do that on all six legs. And once we've done all six knuckles there, we need to remember to collapse these four long arms at the end here. So we've got a button underneath here. So have to feel around to find it. Depress that and then these arms slide in. From this point, before we can go any further, we've got to take the pegs out. I like to leave the pegs in as long as I can in case it gets windy. That way the tent's always secured to the ground. 
So from this point, we'll grab our strap, maybe just put it in our pocket somewhere handy so that we've got it ready. And we need to start to gather all of these legs up into the center, holding them. You need a few hands to, to do this. We gather them all up in the middle, keeping an eye on where the strap is that we need to be able to tie it all together. So here we go, here's my strap here. So I'll just keep that on the outside and that's gonna secure all the poles together once we've got them collected in the middle. So we've got all our poles secured in the middle there, so they're not gonna fall out anymore. Now, we do wanna spend a little bit of time now just sort of folding all this fabric as best we can. I'll lay it on its side, try and get the fabric as flat as you can. It's gonna make it easier, to, or it's gonna make it uh, roll up more compact and go back in the bag easier. So now I've got this packed up, we just get everything back in the bag. Start by putting the poles in the bag, poles and pegs in the bottom, and then the main portion of the tent on top of that and then the fly can tuck in around the edges. Now for a big tent, that went back in the bag pretty easily. That is how you pack or set up and pack away the Black Wolf Turbo Light 380 cabin tent. It is an awesome two room family camping tent or even a slightly bulky tent for four wheel drive touring. You can grab them online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for some more great info like that or head here for some other Black Wolf Turbo videos.